Jane? 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 Hey, welcome back to Movie Flood and this is Mr. P and we are going to talk about Thor Love and Thunder. I will be sharing my spoiler free review and I will explain the post credit scenes too. So if you haven't watched the movie till yet, don't worry, you can still watch the review. So let's go. Okay, so my initial thoughts. Thor Love and Thunder is an energizing adrenaline boost to the heart as we see a hilarious action comedy romance shared by Taika Waititi with a deeper themely ambition which seeks to build and grow places unlike Ragnarok. Christian Bale as God the God Butcher, I have to say that he is my favorite MCU villain after Thanos and I somewhat felt like he was the Heath Ledger of the Dark Knight and Bale flexes with a haunting physical performance like Patrick Bateman in American Psycho but this time he was struck by grief. Love and Thunder is the greatest romance we have seen in an MCU movie but the chemistry between Jane and Thor burns hearts equally. Valkyrie, Korg and even Stormbreaker have own character arcs. While comparing it with other Marvel movies, I would like to place Love and Thunder below No Way Home but above Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And Thor Love and Thunder for me remains a deep satisfying mythological adventure with some cool team ups and acute action and visually stunning set pieces and for me this is the deepest I felt for the characters in the MCU movie and Natalie Portman and Chris Hemsworth finally got the chemistry which I have been waiting for since the first three installments of the Thor franchise and I gotta say this movie will break your heart cause it broke mine too and let me tell you if someone's there in your life you love or maybe anything from your family or anyone you know which is unknown too just go with them and see this movie. I think that you will also shed a tear with them. Now let's talk what I didn't like in this movie. And that will be the first point, the runtime of the movie. For some instance, I felt that if you're seeing a YTT movie, it's like a stick shift from laughing to cheering to being emotional and sometimes you feel nothing in between. I'm saying that this movie has a lot of haha moments through a lot of beats that I kind of wanted to feel for a fan of improv comedy but I felt that 15% of the comedy scenes in the movie was forced at all. And the second thing is that Christian Bale's God Butcher character at least deserved 10 minutes more of screen time according to me. But leaving all of these, I loved Thor Love and Thunder as a Marvel nerd and as a fan of rom-com action movies and this is a family movie. Leaving that scene which you saw in the trailer, I'm so sorry. <laughs> And yeah, drop down your comments on the Thor Love and Thunder movie. I would love to hear your thoughts and I will be making a lot of videos after Miss Marvel finale airs on Disney Plus. So stay tuned. Okay, so now let's talk about the post credit scenes of the movie. A huge spoiler warning from here. If you haven't watched Thor Love and Thunder, just run to the theaters and exit this video, watch it and then check this out. Okay, so let's break down the post credit scenes with not having a sweet child of mine in our lives. But before that, if you could touch the subscribe button, it would be rolling with thunder in my heart and do like the video cause we covered a lot of Marvel stuff here. Okay, so the very first post credit scene sets us back on the omnipotent city where Zeus was hurted by Thor earlier in the movie with his own thunderbolt. Zeus and the rest of the gods in the city are all immortal. The necrosword is one of the few weapons which actually can kill them. So Zeus is alive and says this, gods used to mean something. People would whisper your name before sharing their deepest hopes, before sharing them in your dreams. They beg you for mercy without knowing if you are actually listening. And he also states that one of the superhero comes to your house and steals a toy. He also then goes to say that look at the sky, they don't ask for lightning, they don't ask for rain, just for the so called superheroes and when did we become a joke. No more they will fear us again when Thor Odinson falls from the sky and then he says that do you understand Hercules, do you understand my son and then we finally get a first look to the Hercules in the MCU played by Brett Goldstein and he responds yes my father. Now this pretty much sets up that Hercules will be on the hunt for Thor Odinson and will be moving on with the second post credit scene we get to see what happened to Jane Foster following the death of her in the earlier part of the movie. Jane who took on the mantle of the mighty Thor in the movie died in the arms of Thor during the battle with Gore, the Gore Butcher. And we also get to see that Jane was allowed to enter Valhalla, the entirely heavenly realm designated for the Asgardians who lost 
or sacrifice the lives during the battle. Okay, so when Jane meets Heimdall who welcomes her to Valhalla, he says that thanks for protecting his son Axel and we see both of them heading towards the eternal days in the Asgardian afterlife. Yes, yeah, so who knows about the future of Jane. For me, I think that she will make some sort of appearance in the future Thor movies or some kind of upcoming Disney Plus show. According to some insiders, there were rumors earlier that there will be a mighty Thor Disney Plus show which is in production. So we have to wait till San Diego Comic Con announcements go forward so we can predict the future where the Thor franchisee is going to move forward. Now there's a big chance that she would come back now in the comics. Some similar thing happened to her where Thor ended up being calling her consciousness back and he channeled the god Tempest through the broken Mjolnir which ended up resurrecting her. She ended up beating the disease and eventually Jane became a Valkyrie which is the only way she can return but the posted scenes for me somewhat teases the similar story they are looking forward to. Ok so that's Thor Love and Thunder spoiler free review and posted scenes explanation so if you have loved the video so far please drop a like hit the subscribe button it's easy it's free it's free come on this is i'm not charging any subscription fee it's easy hit the subscribe button we are close to 250 subs and okay cheer